welcome to Powerful Legacy TV. My name is Cynthia DeFazio, and I'm joined today by Christina Payne Kepperling and Rob Kepperling. They are partners of Powerful Legacy Insurance and Financial Services. Christina, how are you today? Wonderful, thank you. Great to be here with you always. It's so great to see you. I love being here with you as well. And Rob, how are you today? We're doing fantastic. It's great to see you again, Cynthia. It's so great to see both of you. I always look forward to the shows because obviously you're actually giving information to the viewing audience that's so important. It's so timely, all circling around planning properly for retirement. So Christina, have you had a lot of people coming into the office recently that are brand new due to the show? We have, and I appreciate you loyal listeners out there. I will tell you, I know you're watching week after week and you're getting this valuable information, and thank you so much for coming in and mm -hmm. having your reviews. Some of you out there, this is your first time seeing the show. Welcome, this is awesome, and we know you're going to love it. Also, you're going to love when you get to come in and visit with us. Christina, thank you so much. Today's topic is very important. We're gonna talk about some basic things that most people don't realize when planning for retirement. Christina, can you lead off? What would be one of those things that people don't think about? One of the things that people don't think about is what is the difference between qualified and non-qualified? Mm. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a cheat sheet here. Qualified means tax qualified or qualified to be taxed. That's the easiest way to remember that. Non-qualified, you're not gonna have those taxes except on the interest. For most of you, this is going to be in your retirement account, such as a 401k. Your traditional IRAs are qualified tax accounts. Roth IRA is as well, but it's taxed differently. So tax qualified is what that really means. Yeah. Okay. I think the government likes to phrase things differently, right? So you're qualified to get to pay us money. That sounds and, really positive. And it's I a like positive it, right? spin on things, right? Yeah. Yeah. Lucky me, right? Hooray! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my goodness. What about RMDs? Rob, let me guide this to you. Required minimum distributions. What are people failing to think about in that arena? I think that's the biggest shock. Right? I think when you tell somebody at 72, they're going to have to pull out so much money regardless of whether they're having it, having it in their savings or, or, or keeping it in their plan or not, or in their strategy. And when you tell them that they have to pull this money out to get taxed on it, sometimes they look at you like you're stupid. And they don't believe you at first. And then yeah. we start talking a little bit more about it, and then it makes sense. We have to pull this out. You have to get taxed on it. You have to use it. But that's all right. If you don't need it, we'll pull it out and we'll turn it into a Roth and we'll put it back and we'll, we'll hold money back for you. Mm. Well, Excellent. it snowballs into so many things. So when we're talking about taxes in retirement, the required minimum distribution, it did change. The Secure Act of 2020 changed that from 70 and a half years old to now 72. So for those of you out there that have a 401k or even a traditional IRA, we're really speaking to you. If you do not take your required minimum distribution, it's a 50% penalty. No penalties wow. allowed at Powerful Legacy. We're not None. going to have that. That's not going to happen. <laughs> wow. So how does someone keep track of that? Do they get a postcard in the mail that it's time for them to take their required minimum distribution, Rob? No, it's up to you. That's you, a great yeah, idea. That, <laughs> right? maybe, maybe the government would spend that money to let people know that they have to do that. No, it's up to you. No, and they it's want a, the penalty. Huh? They want the penalty. They <laughs> yeah. do want the penalty. That's right. <laughs> but that's our job. That's, you know, you know that when they come in to uh, become our client, that's our job to let them know and iron those things out for them. Uh, we don't want anybody losing money, uh, especially in, in this time and date. And it, every bit is important to everyone. Sure. It's our pleasure. It's one of the many benefits about being one of your clients at Powerful Legacy. Absolutely. Christina, I should also ask you a question about life insurance and the tax benefits. Can we talk about that for a little bit? What's one of the best things about life insurance? The death benefit is completely tax free. Mm. There are not many times that you can use those words, tax free. Whoa, we love those words. With life insurance, a lot of folks choose to pass benefits down to their heirs through life insurance. Sometimes it's going to be to just simply take care of your family, or maybe it's going to be a tax free retirement strategy. I'm gonna give you just a little bit of a tease here. The tax code 7702, lets you gain money inside of a life insurance strategy with critical chronic and terminal illness benefits and it's tax-free retirement. Other than a Roth IRA, there's no other way to do it. Wow, that's amazing. Is that something that's relatively new, Rob, the individual universal life? No, I think permanent plans have been around for a long time. It's yeah. just, are they used? We, we talk about this every once in a while. There's some motivational speakers out there that like to um, push those off. They don't like anything that's not a term plan because they think that it's not the best investment for anyone out there. And, and I think the mm -hmm. tax savings and the tax possibilities there, 
I think it's very important to take a look at these. You also have uh, some permanent plans. You can have a distribution of money coming out. Uh, it's not always locked up until you die. You have that distribution of income when you retire, when you're ready for it. Mm, absolutely, Rob. Thank you so much. It's for every age, Cynthia. I mean, I'm just going to break that down for just a second. First okay. off, folks, the retirement training, this book here, when you come in to see us, you're going to get a complimentary copy. And every chapter, which I'll spoil it here for just a second, every chapter is a stage of life by the decade. So 0 to 20 is going to be Kidville, Chapter 1. And we talk about life insurance when they're young. There is a mm -hmm. special strategy inside of the book. It's called the Million Dollar Baby. Oh, yeah. There's an index universal life strategy that you can begin when a child is young. By the time they're 65 years old, they could be a millionaire. This is amazing, and it's a tax-free retirement strategy. Once again, in that 7702, our kids have this. Yep. We believe in this. I have one myself. It is an absolutely fantastic plan to have to be able to save tax-free because you're limited on your 401ks and your IRAs. You're limited on your annual contributions, so you're not limited on this type of contribution. Let's sit down and talk about it if you think this is going to be for you. I yeah. think that's a fantastic option. I know a lot of people are listening to us for the very first time and hearing this for the very first time today. So again, it's all about coming in, sitting with the two of you, and just taking a look at what their overall dreams and goals are for retirement. So yes. for the Million Dollar Baby, we have some people right now that we're working on this for, for their grandchildren. Wow. And it's oh, a yes. great gift to give. A brand new grandchild. We only have one stipulation. Let me make this crystal clear. <laughs> I get to hold the newborns when they come in. <laughs> there She's is not nothing, lying, folks. Nothing like that new baby smell. I am totally kidding, sort of. <laughs> I really do love holding the newborns. And Aww. it's such a great pleasure. I have so many people who want to leave that legacy to their family. And for these grandkids, it's going to be the tax code 7702, the million dollar baby. This is a big deal. If you've not heard of this, jump into your favorite browser, Yahoo, Google, DuckDuckGo, whatever you want to do. Look it up. This is amazing. You're missing if you don't have someone that you're talking to about this. It's a great way to give, and you're not limited. It's amazing. I love that. Well, Rob, also, I know we're going to open up the phone lines in just a moment, but what about indexed annuities before we take our commercial break? Holy mm. cow, this is wonderful. What if, you, what if we were to tell you that you could stick or put or place um, a sum of money into account and have a guaranteed stream of income until you die? Mm. Would you not want that? Absolutely. Those of you that are conservative out there and, and want a place to, to put your money and have that and not burden your children or your grandchildren, and you have this guaranteed stream of income until you die, an indexed annuity is a perfect way to go. We would see if you would be eligible for it, but it's a very good avenue, and please come in, talk to us, see if that's right for you. Excellent. I think with annuities, I mean, thank you for mentioning that. For those of you out there that do not know, you have an annuity, probably. Yeah. Social Security is an annuity. Mm. That's when you put money into an account, either over a period of time or in a lump sum, and then you get a stream of income or annuitize the account. That's all that that is. And all of your pension plans, they're an annuity. That's all that that is. So for those of you who don't really know what it is and you think it's something that's terrible, you're probably misinformed. It's absolutely fantastic. and. The SECURE Act of 2020 actually encourages use of annuity and qualified employer plans. Why is that? Because with a lot of these plans that have these 12B1 mutual fees and all these things built in, it doesn't exist with an annuity. They're very inexpensive, and you get that guaranteed stream of income that our most happy retirees really enjoy. Mm -hmm. Christina, thank you so much, Rob. Thank you. Rob, I know you have a very special offer to present to our viewers at home today from you and Christina. Let's talk about what that is before we open the phone lines. We do. So the first 10 callers will receive a complimentary review of their retirement. Mm -hmm. It could be a second review or a third review or even your very first review. It's important to lay eyes and have others lay eyes on your strategy. Give us a call. Your dollar is important to you. It's important to us. And it's your money. Remember that it's your money and we're here to help you. Give us a call. We also have a copy of Christina's book, The Retirement Train. This is a wonderful book. It is something for all ages to mm -hmm. read up through. Each stop is a time period in your life. So come in, get a copy of Christina's book, get a complimentary review, 877-893-5099. We would love to see you. Rob, thank you so much. Christina, thank you so much. To the viewers at home, the phone number to call is on your screen. That number is 877-893-5099. Or if you have your smartphone handy, go ahead and click the bottom of your screen. You have the QR code right there that will take you directly into the website. We have to take a very short commercial break, but don't go anywhere. I have so much more with Christina and Rob when we return. 
As a good saver, you've been putting away money during your working years. Studies find that the biggest fear of retirees is running out of money. Market volatility isn't just the downward movement of stock prices, it's the size and frequency of change. The more dramatic the ups and downs, the higher the volatility. This can put savers who are newly retired or a few years away from being retired at greater risk. Today's generation of retirees is not receiving traditional pensions as our parents or grandparents did. Instead, we have retirement accounts such as 401ks or 403bs. These accounts typically expose your money to market risk. The last thing you want right before retirement is to lose a portion of the money you need for income. But how do you turn these accounts into a retirement income? Is it safe to keep all your retirement money sitting in the stock market? The last thing you want is to lose a portion of the money you need for income due to market loss. By working with a financial professional, you can learn how to turn a portion of your savings into an income stream for life and income for the life of your spouse if you're married. We all have moments in our lives when we wish we had taken action sooner. Don't let procrastination rain on your retirement parade. Act now before it's too late. Please call our office to set up your no-cost, no-obligation retirement income review today. And welcome back to Powerful Legacy TV. My name is Cynthia DeFazio, and I'm joined today by Christina Ping Kepperling and Rob Kepperling. They are the partners of Powerful Legacy Insurance and Financial Services. A wonderful show we're having today talking about a, such an important topic, if you will, planning properly for retirement. It's so key. Some of the basic things that people forget about or don't think about, I want to keep on that vein if we could. What about Social Security can be taxed? Christina, why is that something important to be thinking about? It seems like we talk about taxes a whole lot. This is really important, folks. Mm. For those of you out there that are married and filed jointly, did you know that if you're earning more than $44,000 a year of provisional income, up to 85% of your Social Security is taxable? Wow. That's a big deal. Making sure that we keep you on the right track as far as your taxes, Social Security, your income, everything that's to come about, it's a very, very multifaceted situation. This is not just a one and done and it's over with. Folks that are coming in and seeing us and when you become our clients, you're with us a couple times a year just making sure that everything stays on track. That's important. Mm. It's not a one and done. I know people that spend more time planning their family vacation than they do their retirement and that retirement could be 20 to 30 years. That's a big deal. It is a big deal, absolutely. What happens if someone does start taking Social Security benefits? They can still go back to work, but they just can't make too much money, correct, Rob? They can't, so yes, if you if you are working and, and you're, you're making that income, you need to be very careful on how much you are making. I think, I remember my dad, when he retired, he got into the situation where he was making over that amount. And he had to actually go to his employer and ask for a demotion or a, a reduction in pay because he didn't want to go over that wow. because he did not want anything taken out of his Social Security. And when he found that out, he, was, uh, he, he didn't like that at all. Well, the excess earnings limit is what we're talking about. The excess earnings limit for 2022 is $19,560. So if you earn more than that and you're under your FRA, which is your full retirement age, that means you could end up being penalized one for every two dollars and then the year that you turn your full retirement age over fifty one thousand five hundred sixty that's going to end up being one for every three dollars we don't want you to pay penalties we don't want you to have to pay too much in taxes so let's get that strategy right absolutely well christine i want to ask you what about the 401k it's a program for saving but is it the best for distribution let's talk about that for just a second probably not um if it's going to be the best for distribution and you don't have someone helping you with that there's a good possibility you could run out of money. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we do have offices here in Lexington and then also over in our Louisville firm. And for those folks over in Louisville, we have a very large group that we have the pleasure of taking care of. And a lot of them left their 401ks in the group plan. They never took them out and turned them into an individual retirement arrangement. There's no decumulation strategy to this. So what does that look like? Just pulling money out when you need to. I heard a big mistake last week. It was quite crazy. This gentleman came into the office. He had called into the radio show. He came in and told me, you're going to be so proud of me. I withdrew $200,000 out of my 401k to pay off my mortgage. Wow. Um, that's not good. Wow. Because you just lost all that money that you paid in taxes. You put yourself in a really high tax situation because, I mean, oh my you're gosh. being taxed as ordinary income out of that 401k. Yes, you don't have the mortgage anymore, but you just lost all that money that you paid in taxes 
you're not going to get that back. Wow. Oh that my gosh. wasn't a good move. <laughs> no, not, they should have called you first. They should have, and we can't yeah. put it back. That's like trying to put toothpaste back in the tube. That's a mess. <laughs> yes, yes it is. <laughs> it's a great analogy, but you're exactly right. <laughs> Rob, I want to talk to you a little bit about the benefits of a Roth. Why is that something that should be thought about? Yeah, I think we talked about that earlier. We talked about taxes possibly going up. It depends on what you think they're going to do. Historically, uh, we're at a low on taxes, and there's a pretty good possibility that they're going to go up, right? So do you want to pay taxes on your money now or do you want to pay taxes when you withdraw later on in life in your retirement? And if you're putting it in right now to a Roth, you're paying your taxes up front. So that way when you're pulling money later, you're pulling your actual money because the taxes are already non-qualified. Remember, you're not qualified to pay taxes on that at that mm -hmm. point because you've already done it. Or you can let it stay where it's at and become a qualified where you get to pay taxes. Well, the best part about Roth, though, is that the growth and all the distributions in the future are tax-free. Yeah. That's what's a little different than just non-qualified funds. And with Roth, remember, we do have some limitations, folks. For those of you that are under the age of 50, you have a $6,000 annual contribution limit. For those of you 50 and older, then it's a $7,000 a year annual contribution limit. Now, Roth IRA does have a little bit of an income barrier on there, so we do want to make sure that that's going to be what's best for you. But what about Roth conversions? This is where it gets really interesting. I absolutely Roth, love Roth conversions okay. because we take that money out of a traditional IRA, pay the taxes on it now. Taxes are less right now. Taxes are probably going up yeah. because inflation is high and the national debt is through the roof. So something has to pay for that. Taxes are probably going up. Let's pay the taxes at today's rate. That Roth conversion, you're not limited on that amount and it has nothing to do with your income either. That's wow. a really good way to hedge against taxes in the future. It really is. So what is the difference, Christina, between a Roth contribution and a Roth conversion? A lot of people kind of mess up the two, if you will. You're so right. They do mess it up quite a bit. So a contribution is going to be a brand new contribution just for the year. So for example, if you're beginning January 1st through December 31st, that calendar year, you can contribute, again, under the age of 50 up to 6000 over $57,000 a year. Roth 401k does not have that same contribution limit, it's gonna be quite a bit higher. Mm -hmm. Now the conversion, when you're converting it from traditional IRA to Roth IRA, there's not a limit there. You can do partial hmm. conversions, you can do full conversions, you just have to pay the taxes as ordinary income. Then after that, it grows tax-free and all those distributions are tax-free. So again, a great way to hedge against taxes in the future. Christina, thank you so much for clarifying that. I really appreciate it. Rob, I know that you and Christina have a very special offer that you're going to present to the viewers at home today. Let's talk about what that is one more time before we reopen the phone line. Absolutely. Folks, we have a complimentary review. We have 10 spots open, mm. and most of those are already gone, so it's important that you call now. We would love to sit down and talk with you about your financial strategy, help you come up with the best possible way to retire either now or later on if you choose. Give us a call, 877-893-5099. Let us help you. Or that little squiggly black and white box at the bottom that's called a QR code. Grab your cell phone, open your camera, and go up to it. Just like those menus at the restaurant during COVID, <laughs> you can open your QR code and it's going to jot right in there. You can just give us your name, your email address. It's so easy peasy, mac and cheesy. You'll love it. <laughs> I always say easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I like that too. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Christina, thank you so much, Rob. Thank you so much. To the viewers at home, the number to call is on your screen, 877-893-5099. We know you have a lot of questions for Rob and Christina about how to plan your perfect retirement. They have the answers for you. We're going to take a very short commercial break, but I have so much more with Rob and Christina when we return. Don't go anywhere. When was the last time you saw your financial professional? Are you getting the most out of the strategy that was created for you? Although you've done a great job finding someone to help plan for your future, are you 100% sure that you were given the right strategy? We can help answer these questions and more with a complimentary second opinion evaluation. We will take a look at what you have in place, then help determine if you are well positioned to get the most out of your future retirement income. In the event that it is not, we can help by making suggestions and showing you how to get on the right path. You wouldn't get just one opinion when it comes to a major health decision. So why would you treat your most important financial decision with such disregard? Call today for your no-cost, 
no obligation, second opinion evaluation to see if you are getting the most out of your retirement income plan. And welcome back to Powerful Legacy TV. My name is Cynthia DeFazio, and I'm joined today by Christina Ping Kepperling and Rob Kepperling. They are partners of Powerful Legacy Insurance and Financial Services. A wonderful show we're having today, talking about some basic things that people don't think about when it comes to retirement. Rob, this next one, this is quite interesting. Social Security will hopefully not be the majority of your retirement plan, but rather a piece of the puzzle. Let's talk about that. Well, we love puzzles, right? So we, we, we like sitting down with people and talking about everything that they have going on, placing uh, everything to where it needs to be and having the, the best possible outcome. Mm -hmm. But to be able to place Social Security in there as your main source of revenue in retirement is gonna be tough for you. It's, we don't know, I think we, we look at it a situation where uh, the last we read, the article said that Social Security was running out in 2035. Wow. Okay. Wow. You know, they're going to have to do some adjustments. That's not true. After COVID, it reduced a year because we didn't have as many people paying into Social Security. So now it's 2034. And what's that going to look like in the next few years to come? Is it going to reduce even further? And they're going to have to take action even sooner than they thought mm -hmm. as far as the government. Okay. There are a lot of reforms that are being proposed right now. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what's going to happen exactly, but I know Social Security is such an important topic. We have an amazing software. When you come in for that complimentary review that we've discussed a couple of times, and we'll open the phone lines back up again here in just a second, but for those of you just chomping at the bit to talk about your Social Security, if you've not yet started collecting, I want you to jump onto ssa.gov, and I want you to look up your full retirement age benefit, your FRA benefit. That's going to be at 66 or 67, depending on your age. Bring that in with, uh, with you when you come to see us. And what we're going to do is run a full Social Security report. It's extensive. It's about 20 to 25 pages. It shows us what is the break even if you collect early versus collecting late. What's going to be the ultimate cumulative best time for you? What if you're married? What about the time in between you and your spouse? And what about the surviving spouse? And how does that look? Social Security can be complicated. Mm. I promise you, they're not going to give any answers if you go into the Social Security office. That's what we're here for. Even though we don't work for the government, thank goodness, we do want to make sure and give you those answers. Sure, and it's so important to make sure that that information is correct that is on the website. Rob, how often do you hear people it come is. in and say that it's totally inaccurate? We've had that happen before. Yeah. Uh, somebody years and years ago when they were younger and having children, they looked on there and, and before, what did they not have back 30 years ago to keep record? They computers. didn't have computers, Yeah. right? That's so, true. There's human error involved. And when that person went back to the Social Security office and said, hey, this is where I was at. I had, I had uh, paid in more at this point in time and could prove it, they did the adjustment. And that's important to be able to have those records and have that kind of memory, because I, I don't know if I would have that kind of memory 20, 30 years ago. I know True. what you're talking about. It was actually a significant life event. We had a gentleman that came in to visit us and he said, I know in 1989, I got a raise that was quite significant. I said, well, how do you know? He said, because my wife and I had an oops. They had older children. <laughs> they ended up having those little oops that came along, you know, and the computers were just not quite there for all the businesses. So he said, I know I was earning more money. I got a significant raise. This was a big deal. And it didn't show up until the mid nineties. Oh my so gosh. So he went back, he argued it. It was several hundred dollars a month difference in his social security. So wow. he Right, go back and look for those errors. You hit that nail on the head. Okay, absolutely. And Social Security is different for everybody. You yeah. just don't know what kind of health conditions you're going to be in or you're in at the time that would cause you to need to draw earlier. Uh, so if you have that need, you have that need. It may be the best for you. Absolutely. Rob, Christina, thank you so much. Christina, this is a great question. It says, it's a viewer that called in. It says, Christina and Rob, do I really need life insurance in retirement? What are your thoughts on that? I think every person's need is completely different. I think if you are living a little bit more conservative and you've got a really tight budget because maybe you didn't have an opportunity to save as much for retirement, you probably will need life insurance, a whole life or a burial plan to take care of your burial expenses. Mm. For those of you out there that have debt going into retirement, perhaps you're still carrying a mortgage for another 15 to 20 years. You probably need a term to cover that. And I know there are a lot of motivational speakers out there, Cynthia, that they say only by term whole life is a waste of money. No, it's not. Let me give you a really good solid example. In our own household, we have three young boys. Mm. You can buy a 10-year-old young male a $100,000 whole life insurance policy for about $15 a month. You only pay on it for 20 years and it's bought and paid for. 
do the math there for just a second. You've not even got $3,000 invested and there's $100,000 of life insurance completely paid for. Wow. That's incredible. Absolutely. And $100,000 will take care of them for the rest of their lives. That will be what they'll need for their burial expenses and more. Wow. What better way to give to, to grandchildren, great-grandchildren, is to start them a life policy, whether it's a permanent or even a term, but a permanent policy stays with them forever. That's right. Absolutely. Thank you both so much. Rob, this is a great question for you. It actually came in from a viewer as well. It says, Rob and Christina, I'm very curious about paying off debt before retirement. I have debt. Where should I start? What do you recommend gets paid off first? All right. So I recommend you come in to see us. Okay. <laughs> because it depends. It depends on where you're at, what taxes are going to get implicated into uh, paying something off. Is it too early? Is it something you want to stretch out for a long period of time? It really depends on what your income is, what you're expecting, if you have any rental income coming in as well at that point in time, your overall package, where are you at? We need to evaluate that for you and then we could give a little bit better advice. Okay. Well, and I think debt and leverage are two totally different things. Yeah. We're having those conversations. I know, you know, you're a, an awesome real estate expert. Thank you. I know people who absolutely are leveraged in a very positive direction concerning real estate. Mm -hmm. That's completely different than having debt. So it may be that you come in and you may have $2 million in debt, but it's really not bad debt. It's leveraged. Maybe it's on rental property and that rent is paying for the property leverage. So that's not a bad thing. But when we're sitting down having a conversation and maybe you're seventy, eighty thousand dollars in credit card debt, that's probably a whole nother conversation. Don't worry, we have a referee whistle for you married couples that are out there talking about your debt too. That's a tough one. We even have a boxing yeah. ring at the house, at the office, so boxing it's ring. it's outside. We we just set it up and there's just great big gloves that you put on. <laughs> we do it all the time in there and Christina whoops me every time. He's just I'm kidding. That's so not real, but you know. <laughs> even better. I would whoop you though. You would. <laughs> I yes. love it. I love it. Rob and Christina, what an amazing show. Christina, any final words of advice you want to give to our viewers at home? We have 30 seconds. Yes, folks, thank you again for visiting with us today on Powerful Legacy TV. Whether you're looking for a complimentary review for the first time or you need a second opinion, please do not hesitate. Pick up the phone and call us right now, that number on the screen, or open your smartphone, your camera, and hit that QR code down there and set up your complimentary consultation today. Don't delay. Christina, thank you so much. Rob, thank you so much. To the viewers at home, most specifically, thank you for spending time with us today. The number is 877-893-5099. Be safe, be happy, be blessed. See you next week.